Yeah, well, I started beekeeping probably about 24 plus years ago um, when I came down to Somerset. Um, it was something I've always been really interested in and so here was an opportunity to start keeping bees which was really lovely and I had um, enough land to do it on. A skep is an old and ancient craft and years ago of course there were the, the, the hive that everybody kept their bees in. There were no wooden boxes like we use today. Um, everybody kept their bees in a straw skep. The bees love being in a skep. It's warm and cosy for them. Um, often there were um, little niches in the, in the cottage walls and they, could, they were called bee bowls and they could put their skep into the, into the bee bowl and often it was built near the chimney breast so that gave them warmth and they were as snug as anything all through the winter. I, I use lapping came, which is actually what the chair makers use, but the traditional um, lapping is brambles and the long streamers that you um, find in the autumn and winter and you cut them. And the straw needs to be long straw and um, I get it from thatchers so that um, you get plenty of length as you go round to shape the basket. You need a nice long length and you keep adding it in to um, your, your guide, which is a piece of cow horn. That's the traditional thing. You keep putting it into the cow horn, keeping it packed tight so that you get a nice even coil going round. And um, my needle that I use for the uh, to stitching, for the stitching, is um, a, a turkey bone and I clean it up and then uh, shave it off so that I get a nice point. And it's not a needle in the sense you go right through and out the other side. It's got this channel and you push it through the straw and then put the lapping cane into the channel. And when the end comes out the other side, you just pull it through and then pull it really tight and you go on round and round, l linking in to the stitch in the, in the circuit that you've just finished so all the time you're linking into the row below and it's very very tight and firm and when you've finished you can put it on the floor and stand on it and it won't collapse. I think it's it's very important to keep keep these ancient crafts alive. You have something so beautiful at the end of the work.